I haven't taken pre-workout in like three months. And I don't be all fucking jumping off the wall. I got me a fresh batch of pre-workout. So I, I've been taking a break from pre-workout. But uh, these workouts have been fucking killing me lately. Energy level's been low. And uh, I haven't been eating as much. So I'm not getting those pumps like I like. But when I take my pre-workout, the pumps are fucking real. So I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take this as a pre and an intra, cause I'm gonna sip on it during the workout. Cause I'm gonna put some BCAAs in it, and then I'm gonna do a, a shake, a protein shake post. Cause I, I'm getting too small, y'all. I gotta maintain the gains. Let me just do one scoop. It's pretty strong, so I only need one scoop of this. And I'm gonna put some, uh, some branch chain amino acids. I sip on this even when I'm not work, when I'm not lifting, when I'm doing cardio or something like that. Tastes amazing. Tastes like I'm cheating. Tastes like I'm drinking some like fruit punch juice, Tampico with all the sugar, but it's not. All right, so uh, weight, weight training today, strength training. I'm gonna do upper and lower body. Uh, so I just take y'all with it, take y'all through it with me. I've been getting complaints and complaints that I ain't doing no, no training videos or no lifting videos. So I'm gonna give y'all some lifting videos. I've been doing these, uh, shout out to Amir, the man behind the camera. But we've been squatting together every week and he was squatting barefooted. I said, let me try it. I never squatted barefooted before. So, so much more comfortable. Your feet are in the natu as natural state as it can, can be. I don't feel much pain when I do it like that, so I'm gonna use the safety squat bar. Sa the beautiful thing about the safety squat bar is the weight distribution is in a different place, so you feel it in your core big time. You're engaging your core the entire time, so that's why I'm doing it like that today, but typically, lately, we've been doing it with just regular back squats, regular squat bar. So. Good thing about this bar is it is heavier. Uh, th I believe it's 60 or 75 pounds. One or the other. When I came in the game, you could smell the aroma. I was fresh out the kitchen with my dope boy diploma. Left my prints in the powder, had that apron upon them. Had my mind on that money, damn near went in the coma. We was One thing about how I'm lifting these days, I'm not trying to get a pump. When I start feeling the pump, I stop and go on to something different. Because what I don't want is to be all bulky in the ring, like, uh, uh, and not being able to be agile. When you get too much of a pump, when you're getting too big, it is, it's counterproductive to combat sports. However, I don't want to not be jacked at all, so. But my lifts are primarily just for strength, for maintaining some strength. Being in the ring, somebody bump into me, they bump into a, a wall. It's intimidating. So, uh, and the fact that people will look at all these bodybuilders, people with all this muscle, and I'm gonna tell you right now, most of these motherfuckers cannot bust a grape in a fruit fight. Most of them couldn't punch their way out of a wet pepper bag. Why? It's because they don't know how to throw a punch. So I don't care how big your muscles is, and you not knowing how to throw a punch, and then putting all that muscle on it, it makes it even worse. So, however, I know how to throw punches. When you know how to throw a punch, you know how to leverage that muscle or that weight behind it, it's a lot different, okay? So, I've been sparring with some cats and motherfuckers are saying like, damn bro, your power is something else. And I'm not even putting much on the shots yet. So, that shows you right there. When you know how to uh, put your body into the shots, really know how to leverage your weight. Even a fat guy can leverage his weight and hit you hard as fuck, all right? But when you know how to leverage weight behind your shots and being strong, it helps. When you know how to do it, put it all together. That's something that I've been doing for a while, so that's a benefit. That's why I'm still lifting.
I'm still lifting, but I'm not doing that. No curls for me. It don't work when you're trying to throw punches. Killing the motors. We was killing them bitches. Nigga, mum is the word on what we left in them bitches. Fist. That shit felt heavy for some reason. Fuck. Still taking photos. All my niggas in photos. Hard to stay on the low. When you brand it like logos. Got them taps on my body. But they burning my soul. Cause the meaning behind them is what a nigga uphold. What you niggas uphold. What you niggas deserve. So I just finished squatting. Today's workout brought to you by I'm So Alpha. Brent chain amino acids. Fruit punch to be exact. As well as the original, the original Don Dada. And I'ma pin it. How do you pin it? I'm gonna take y'all with me. I'ma try to at least. As long as I have some battery. Trump getting his bars up. You think he's a ghost fighter? <laughs> some, somebody posted some shit, like some Twitter post of Trump. Like snapping back, I was like, "What?" But it was it was made up. Yeah, I wish he would have. That should have been dope. He should. Trump should hire somebody to write some shit for him. Come back at him. If he did that, he would for sure get reelected for another four. For sure. Game changer. That's how he win that battle is to not get mad, laugh like ha ha ha, and spit a verse. Trump, if you out there listening, spit a verse. Clap back. That's what we do, clap back. Get Jabu on the hook for you. Easy fucking money, baby. When I say easy money, it's a mind state. It's a motherfucking mind state that ain't nothing difficult. The most difficult shit, you attack that shit until it's easy. So ain't nothing hard. Easy fucking money, baby. Say that shit over and over. Everything you do, every task, easy money. What? That shit ain't hard, that's easy. Let me do it. Easy money. Everybody keep talking about, Mike, you're getting small. Like, I know, motherfucker. Like, next motherfucker that say, oh, you're getting small. No shit. But I'm still bigger than your ass. And after this fight, I'm about to get bigger than a motherfucker. Watch. I miss being Jack. It's swollen, the motherfucker. Easy. Michael Sheed, the only reason he get, he keeping muscle mass, the only reason he can eat once a day is because he's taking so much steroids. I could be starving, homeless, and bulimic looking, they still say steroids. The fact that I keep, that I'm still lifting every day and training my ass off, the fact that I've been training 20 some years, ain't got nothing to do with it, nothing to do with it. The, the fact that I'm super consistent with training has nothing to do with anything, right? And I'm gonna tell you something, consistency is the main thing. That's the, that's the main ingredient to all of this shit. When I left California and I moved out here in 2014, I left my squad. Big Rob, CT, Hurt, the whole crew. I had nobody to train with for a while. I didn't stop though, you know what I'm saying? Some people need other people around. Come on, let's go. I didn't have that. And I still, still was in here busting my ass. And listen, it's days that I don't want to train by myself. A lot of days, training is social for me. But guess what? I still carry my ass to this fucking gym. The boxing shit, whatever. The running this morning, actually last night, I couldn't wait for the morning to go run. You know what I'm saying? I'm wired. I'm wired for this shit, and I'm super consistent. So all you motherfuckers talking shit, keep talking shit. I'm not even gonna tell you to stop, because it fascinates me that people are so fucking miserable in their own life to where 
if I'm gonna consume information or media from somebody, I'm a fan. Me personally, and there's a lot of people I'm a fan of. I admire what they do, or I can learn something from them, or they make me laugh, or you know, they're giving me a perspective I never thought about, and I appreciate that shit. I don't have the time to go and sit and angry, mean mug, watching somebody I don't like. And I especially don't have the time to go and talk bullshit, leave bullshit comments about somebody I don't like. When people do that, that's a reflection of their own self-hatred. They hate themselves so much, they gotta project that shit on other people. All y'all real motherfuckers out there, the alpha squad, don't ever be like that. Don't ever be one of those people. It's an old cliche, but that shit real. If you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say shit, just keep it moving. Worry about your own shit. Make, make sure that you are airtight. What other like talking shit about somebody who doing better than me? That's fucking bizarre, you know what I mean? I don't talk shit about nobody. I have my opinion on certain things, but I keep that to myself unless it's somebody I know that I'm gonna address them. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody in my, my little ecosystem, we'll talk about it. You know what I mean? But other than that, you don't see me putting up garbage media, garbage bullshit. I put up information and in media that I feel, and some of you agree, that it's beneficial for people, that you will learn something from, get a little bit of motivation. When I see, like, my homie Chris Geffen, he posts a video of him bike riding, running, swimming, whatever, that motivates the fuck out of me. Like, let me get my ass up and do some work. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully I do that for some of y'all. Y'all see me here getting after it. Even as I age and get older, still getting after it with vigor. That should motivate some of y'all. You know what I mean? I, hope, I think that it does. So that's why I do what I do. I'm not, I don't want to do nothing to put y'all in a bad mood or anything to put y'all in a negative mind state. I want to do, only do things to keep y'all in a positive, productive mind state like, hell yeah, I'm going to go out there and fucking conquer life. I'm going to live like a lion. You know what I mean? That's why I do what I do. All the mother motherfuckers, sorry, I, you know, it's, it's some unhappiness, it's something going on in their soul and their spirit. I hope they get it worked out. But I don't want y'all never being like that, all right? Life is too beautiful. It's so many, I'm so interested and fascinated by people, different personalities, perspectives, with where they came from, I'm interested in these things. There's too much beauty in the world and life is too short to be worried about knocking somebody or trying to shit on somebody, especially when you can't fuck with them. You feel me? All right, let's get this iron. Squats on took a little bit out of me. Squats take the fight at you a little bit in the waist. Oh, you know why? You know, uh, he probably posted it. Fabian posted it. And then they posted it. That's all right. That's right. That's a lot of views, too. I just followed him. Cool, man. Chases the paper, Cartier fuck a hater Pull up in the two-seater with my nigga T. Draper When I throw you two fingers, I do that for true players SRT right behind me, they stay strapped for them haters I point them out and they get them, look how that money did them Soldier reason my denim, nigga snakes full of venom So I got me a viper, know them bitches gon' feel it I keep getting this guap, tell them haters to kill it I live life to the fullest I can show you some footage. Now I'm touching the women. I remember I couldn't. Banker be Jewish. Paper be stupid. Talking Cat Williams cases. My Jews look foolish. See it in my ass. Eyes on the prize. Money on my mind. Fuck these niggas, let's get this block. See it in my ass. Eyes on the prize. Money on my mind. Fuck these niggas, let's get this block. Let's go. Riding foreign cars. Fuck these niggas, let's get this block. Fucking foreign broads. Fuck these niggas, let's get this block. Rock a hundred large. Fuck these niggas, let's get this block. What up, y'all? All right, so check it out. Just wanted to show y'all a little bit of my routine, my weight training regimen during boxing training. Still lifting, not going super heavy, 
not doing a whole lot of hypertrophy. What I'm doing is maintaining strength, and that's it. All right? I've always said it. A lot of times people say weight training is not beneficial for fighters, and I beg to differ. As long as you're not weight training in a bodybuilding capacity, but even if you are, as long as you're doing things to keep your body loose, stretching, getting massages, yoga, swimming, running, and still doing your athletic training, it really won't interfere. It actually will enhance it, okay? When you're able to put weight behind punches, they're gonna hurt a lot, lot more, even without you putting much effort into it. I've been experiencing that. So uh, today I started out with squats. I did the safety squat bar. It puts the weight in a different area and you really feel it in your core. It's so fucking hard, it's difficult. I did a few sets of that, nothing crazy. Then I just went to upper body to uh, incline bench press. Not a crazy progression, which I used to see me do. But like I said, I'm just touching on the weight, touching on the weight. And don't think I've lost all my strength. Uh, I just repped out 405 for like eight, eight, eight or nine reps last week in uh, Detroit, me and Big Rob. So don't get it twisted, the strength is still there. I'm just not training too crazy in that department because I don't want to be super tight when I get in the ring and fuck this dude up, all right? So anyway, from there, we went to an exercise that I've been doing for a long time. I haven't done it in a while, but I started doing it back in like 2010, I kind of came up with it. I call it alpha push push-ups. I used to call it warrior push-ups, now it's alpha push-ups. And it's just a progression of different types of push-ups and fives. Your five is really 10, because it's five five on each side. Um, you see, I started with the, the push-up that you kind of do in yoga. I don't even know what it's called, but you kind of go down like a snake and come back up. And then I went from there to, to knee-ups, boom. You know, bringing each knee up, one, one, two, two, up to five. From there, I believe I went to these guys. I don't have a name for this shit, I just do it. Uh, from there, touch hands. It really taxes your core. From there, diamond push-ups. So it really hits your triceps and you gotta go all the way down and touch your chest on your hands. And then from there, 10 straight push-ups. So give it a try. It's dope, I love it, you know what I mean? Um, especially after your weight training regimen. But even if days that you're not training or lifting, you can do this every night before you go to bed or every morning when you get up. It just locks in that strength, you know what I mean? And it gets your blood flowing throughout the day. Let me tell y'all, in the morning is an excellent time to do some kind of physical exercise, whether it be, and I'm gonna tell y'all my go-to things. Not that I do these things every day, but things that I alternate with and things that I prescribe other people to do. One is running, one is swimming, uh, bike. I have a bike in my garage, heavy bag, boxing, shadow boxing, push-ups, burpees, um, body weight squats, uh, try these things. I'm gonna tell you why. And my dad told me this a long time ago when I was in high school. When you get up early in the morning and exercise, when you get to school or work or begin your day, you're uh, so far ahead of everybody else because your body is complete, your mind is completely woke and alert. Your body is warmed up, fired up, ready to go. And most people, they're still dragging along. They're not completely woke yet. I know me. When I get up in the morning, don't fucking talk to me. <laughs> it takes me a while to wake up, even though I'm up, unless I go and exercise. Then I'm alert, just like right now. I'm fucking fired up, ready to go to the end of the day. But I feel like it's the start of the day. Because after you train, no matter how taxing it is, you're ready to go, right? So even from here, I'm going and I'm gonna go box. So you wanna get your day started, fired the fuck up, all right? Anyway, much love to y'all. Y'all see me um, down in some pre-alpha and BCAAs. Now I'm gonna have a, a protein shake. And I, I think I'm gonna put some superfoods in it. So that's it. If y'all want any of the products, the link's down below. Even the flash shit like this, y'all see what it said. I put powerful words and phrases on my apparel, on my gear to remind myself that I'm supposed to be relentless about success, about everything I'm trying to do. I got discipline on some of my shirts, reminding myself to be disciplined. You know, for those days that we are human, we're all infallible. So you look in the mirror, you got discipline on your t-shirt. You're like, that's right, I gotta be disciplined. 
You know what I'm saying? You got to remind yourself these things sometimes. So I'm all about self-empowerment and finding myself that I am relentless, I am disciplined, I'm a warrior, whatever. And y'all can do the same, all right? So that's why I put that on my apparel. All the links are down below. Got some new shit coming for y'all. Y'all see I've been laying real low on the YouTube game, Facebook, and all of that. That's because you can't rush greatness. We got some dope shit for y'all coming. Dope shit. We raising the bar. Everybody else gonna have to catch up. All right? Check y'all later. Let's get this boy, baby. Huh. See it in my eyes.